ends and a physical uh, for the bulk of the game and obviously made some time and place, time with shots. Uh, so give them credit on the win. Chris, it got a little chippy, emotional, however you want to label it there at the end. Just how do you think your guys handled that when the game sort of got into that mode? You know, I think we can handle it uh, better. Uh, you know, I think that was accumulation of surprise, some, some frustration uh, for a variety of reasons. I thought the game was really physical uh, for the bulk of the game. And uh, um, when it's that physical, those, those things tend to happen. So uh, I think both teams probably look at it and probably would say they can handle it better. Okay. Too physical for us? Uh, you know, I think that's, I'll have to go back and look at it. Um, you know, I thought that, uh, you know, the last play of the half was a significant one where it was it just a guy got plowed. Um, but if it's that kind of a game and it's that physical, then that's how you got to, you know, how you got to play. And uh, uh, ultimately, I think, I think uh, it's, if it's going to be, if it's going to be, that's the way the game's going to be called, then, then we have to uh, raise our physicality. Chrissy, you got off to a good offensive start, and then uh, defensively, they it seemed like their length really started to bother you. Um, well, how did you see that change uh, as the game went on? Uh, you know, I, I thought, like I said, I think they did a really good job being active with their hands and uh, uh, being physical in some wall ups and creating, uh, as you mentioned, their length and activity, creating some some missed shots and, and some turnovers. So, uh, you know, give them credit for that. Uh, I thought we had some open looks that we just missed, and then there was a stretch where they made some open looks that. That, that we uh, we didn't make, and that kind of broke the game open a little bit. You talked about the physicality of the Big Ten Michigan State Rutgers tonight. Yeah. Do you have guys that, that can handle that? I think we're you know we're have to get there. We got a lot of young bodies that uh, that are thrown out there and that are trying to I think realize that for the first time. Um, uh, you know, and I think our you know we just we're not there yet. You know, we're not there yet. And obviously Kyle being out affects that a little bit. He has a physical body. A live body, but uh, we're just not there yet. Uh, but uh, give them credit for how they play. Coach, uh, I want to ask about Simpson. He had a triple double, it appears, and may not have had a turnover. I don't have stats in front of me. 36 minutes, with no turnovers, and a triple double. Is this something you can show your kids about how to lead a team and how to put a team in position to win a game? Uh, I don't, yeah, I, I think that uh, we'll. we'll Use our guys uh, and other examples, um, uh, you know, from from uh, guys. I'm not sure we'll use that as a specific example. He's a tremendous, yeah. uh, a tremendous player. Um, he really is, and deserves a lot of credit for how he impacts winning. Uh, I think he just really impacts winning uh, in a, in a lot of ways, and he deserves a lot of credit for that. And how, how were you coaching Caleb through the game? It seemed like obviously he came out and he had a pretty good start, and then it seemed like things just kind of started to slip away bit by bit. How were you trying to coach him and keep him focused and, and on the right things as that game went on? You know, I think he just, uh, we're just being positive with him and talking to him about, uh, I thought he did a good job for the most part staying out of foul trouble. He, tr he struggled finishing over, over Teske, and, and uh, uh, Teske's a, a really good interior defender and a really good ball screen defender, so. Listen, that's, uh, you know, he, he struggled scoring over those wall ups. He's got to be a little more decisive with his moves um, and figure out other ways to impact the game. Chris, you talk a lot, or you, you have talked a lot about how, you, how your team handles sort of the ebbs and flows within a game, whether an emotion gets too high or whatever. When those moments seem to be happening now, are you, are you attributing that to, to youth? Like, what are you seeing when, you know, you're missing shots and then it seems to affect your defense, or you get a call against you and it seems to affect something else? Yeah, I, you know, I have to look at it. I, I don't know outside of that kind of physical, uh, uh, technical situation. I, I don't know that we had a, um, a, a lot of um, uh, unpoised, or that's probably not the word to use, but the moments that, that, that lacked poise. Uh, but I have to, I'll have to look at it. Um, but, yeah, it, it is, obviously you're talking about that a whole lot more with a lot of freshmen and sophomores than you would be. Uh, with a, a junior, senior, late team who's been in these environments and kind of knows what to expect. Uh, it was a great environment today and a lot of emotion and energy. Um, uh, I think, uh, obviously, those are just regular conversations you're having with so many guys that have been in this position really for, for the first time. What do you say to the guys when you have a moment like that? Technicals in the second half and you have to pull people off? And... Yeah, I, I just think, you know, we need to respond better. Um, 
and um, uh, you know to make sure that we finish the game, kind of represent ourselves the right way. And I thought we did that. I, I thought we did that. And, and so, again, some of those things are going to happen in the course of the game. Um, but uh, I thought we finished the game. You, you were playing a tough opponent, top defense in the Big Ten, and it's been a tough stretch for you recently. With opponents have faced. How do you come out of this game? Do you, do you uh, coming off a win and then playing well on Saturday? Do you do you come away from this with, with positives? Do you come away from this feeling like it's another step backward, or just what is your vibe coming out of out of this game? You know, I have to look at the look at the tape and see. Um, you know, we certainly need to do some things better. Um, uh, but I thought we we did some things well today. Um, uh, I thought we got some exposed in some areas, um, but uh, you know my overall feeling right now, no more. Once I have a chance to kind of let this uh, uh, watch watch film and kind of let it digest a little bit, I'll, I'll, I'll no more here in a day or so. You, okay. you mentioned housing your impacts winning. I wonder what what are the things that stick out to you that maybe we don't see or don't show up in a box? Uh, tremendous defensively. Uh, Terrific communicator, um, uh, obviously doesn't doesn't turn the ball over. Makes great decisions with the ball. Um, you know, has made timely shots. Um, you know, finds finds guys, and their team is content to kind of let him, in a lot of ways, uh, dominate the ball and, and find guys. And uh, it's a credit to uh, uh, to him and the other guys around. Caleb struggled a little bit offensively this night. When you look at a game like today where he had seven points early and he sort of tailed off as the game went on and was involved in the technical later, how difficult has it been to keep his emotions in check and, and make sure that you have that first five minutes, Caleb, for longer stretches? Well, I, I think you got to give Michigan credit for, for that. I thought he had a good start, but again, he's, you know, to expect that he's going to be able to, you know, he's dealing with big bodies in the Big Ten. And he's a sophomore. He's just, he's not quite there yet when it time comes to being able to consistently uh, score over guys uh, that are, in some cases, bigger than him. So he's got to find other ways to impact the game. He's got to be an asset on defense and offense. He's got to keep his emotions in check, and that's a continual learning process. And I think he'll continue to grow in that area. Chris, I know you, you try to keep it sort of one game at a time as much as you can, um, but it has, it's, been a, it's been a month for you guys. Um, what's, just what's your locker room like right now? Having gone good. through the last few games, yeah, no, good. no concerns about no. anything. No, no, I mean, not that I share with you. Anyway, right. <laughs> but uh, uh, I really don't have uh, I don't have concerns. I, I like this group. I like coaching this group. I believe in this group, um, and believe that we're going to continue to find a way to improve. And, and uh, I've not heard one moment of guys complaining about each other, or complaining about. This or that, I, I really haven't. I, I have not heard that. Uh, uh, our locker room is disappointed and frustrated. Uh, the normal feelings that a, that a young team would go through, going through a difficult stretch, but um, uh, you know, it's in it's in a pretty healthy place outside of just frustration and, and disappointment. Okay, thanks, Chris.